just the Hollow Earth, but how all this relates to everything going on right now, the bigger picture. Happy Friday, everyone. This is Brother Milan again with the YouTube channel Cloud with Zeal. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have already not done so. And today we are going to be debunking a doctrine straight out of the pit of hell. No pun intended, but we're going to be talking about the false doctrine of hollow earth. The world consists of vast cultures with stories that constantly connect their gods with the inner earth. And not just their gods, but reptilian races of hybrid entities. We're talking superhumans, strange animal creatures, or what the Book of Giants refers to as monster. You don't need to go into any other sources. And, and it's funny to me that people haven't even read through the entire Bible, but yet they want to go to the book of Enoch for some extra biblical or these lies. When you're dealing with the areas around the world where so much myth, legend, oral tradition, and belief, contemporary belief, there's always uh, a, almost an embracing of the underworld. The earth is actually dynamic. Um, by that, what I mean is that, you know, we all go to work every day, we get in our car, we are driving over a shell under which, according to the Bible, there is supernaturalism, there are entities, there are creatures, there are beings. If now, this is a ridiculous made up fairy tale, but I feel like I should address it anyways, um, because it is catching popularity with those that want to believe in this Nephilim garbage and um, all this sons of God or angel stuff and they you know make up all these mythical creatures that don't exist and I just feel like it is something I want to talk about because it's also a hilarious topic to delve into but let's get right into it so where does this all come from well a lot of their position is based off of one man uh, who had a lot of credential um, Obviously, that went out the window when he came up with this garbage, but uh, Admiral Byrd from the U.S. Navy, who is a Medal of Honor recipient, who obviously you would esteem this person as highly educated, um, with much credibility, that is someone that you could basically put your trust in. But here's the thing, is let God be true and every man a liar. It doesn't mean that because he had this much credentials that he wouldn't make up some ridiculous story and it all comes from his so-called adventure into the hollow earth in the year 1947. Now, obviously what he did was made up a bunch of stuff. I don't know why, I don't know the reason behind it. Um, I will have to say I did watch a documentary. I don't recommend this because it's all vain jangling, um, but it talked about his description of what he saw and what he encountered. You know, either he was on a lot of drugs towards the end of his life or he just wanted something funny to talk about before um, before he left, you know what I mean? I don't know. It just, uh, it amazes me that someone would make up such a ridiculous story. But what is this? It's, a, it's basically an attack on the biblical doctrine of hell. It is lessening the severity of hell and that it's fire and brimstone and that if you are not saved, you will spend all of eternity in this place so where is their stance on the Bible because there's actually Bible believing so-called Bible believing Christians that believe this junk I don't know if there's too many but there's like a society just like the flatter society that want to cling to Christianity to um, you know hype up their doctrine and spread their their evil you know thoughts or whatever their imaginations and the verse that they wanted to go to just blows my mind because it's not, they're really blowing it out of proportion is what they're doing. So where do they go? They go to Job 1 verse 7 where it says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Job 1 7. And they say, look, you know, you know Satan is going to and fro in the earth and they like to say well it's not on the earth it's in the earth you know that's a preposterous uh you know proposition to bring up but let, let's let's talk about what is actually in the earth then and it's not talking about that satan was going within the earth and going in these crevices and going in this you know super deep hole and then 
where does this all lead to for their doctrine? Well, it all leads to them thinking that there's an entire universe within the scope of the, the globe and within the scope of the earth, like there's these tunnels and the North and South Pole have these giant, um, these giant holes in them that people have gone into. Admiral Byrd claims to have flown into one of these things. And within there, there is a civilization of these Nephilim people, these aliens and these demonic forces and just, you know, the Hulk lives there, Sasquatch lives there and all these other crazy made up fairy tale dreams and these ideas and this whole, you know, like uh, futuristic land is there and it's, it's absolutely crazy and it blows my mind. So this is where they come up with this and they want to make an entire doctrine off of this and off of the words of Admiral Byrd who is obviously making things up and you're the laughing stock of Christianity at this at this point. It's almost like a toroidal shaped kind of donut. You know, it's hard to say because I've never been up into space. Um. All right, so let's take a look at what the Bible has to say about this hollow earth theory. And let's see what's actually within the earth, within the center of the earth. So Matthew chapter 12, verse 40 says this. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So what is this picturing? It's picturing Jesus Christ after he is killed and his soul goes down to hell for three days and three nights. If you don't believe me, we're going to go to the next verse to prove that. But when it says the Son of Man, it's referring to Jesus Christ. It says, be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So we can see that the, within the heart of the earth is a place called hell. And it's not some open space that has a bunch of different creatures living in it and all these aliens. It has nothing to do with that. Because in Acts 2.31 it says this, He seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. So we can see that obviously that same reference is being made that you know, his soul was not left in hell, which proves that in the center of the earth, in the heart of the earth, is a place called hell, which is described as fire, brimstone, there's torment, there's no rest day or night, you know, the worm dieth not. There's a lot of description on hell. There's a lot of talk about hell within the Bible. And you don't hear any mention of this, you know, these tunnels and these pathways and these open areas that uh, are filled with, you know, these civilizations that we have no encounter with. And, and another point that they like to bring up in their, their ridiculous argument is that every culture in the world has some sort of reference to uh, people living within the earth. And they interview all these different people from, you know, uh, from different religions and different tribes and this and that. And it's all just made up. It's all just this fake fairy tale. And at the end of the day, it's just an attack on hell. I know I couldn't go too deep with this, but the simple fact that hell is in the heart of the earth completely disproves the fact that there's this elaborate scheme and these Nephilim and fallen angels, um, you know, scheming things down there and, and causing trouble and that we can actually go to a place like this and that you could, you know, accidentally fly your plane into one of these things. And it's just, it's vain jangling, it's ridiculousness. And I thought I'd talk about it today. And I thought it was a hilarious one to talk about but if you want a good laugh, you can go online and just type in hollow earth and just see what these idiots believe. It's complete foolishness. And it's just sad that people who claim the name of Jesus Christ would actually associate themselves with this stupid doctrine. This doctrine of devils is what it is. It has no real substance. It has no real proof. It's founded upon one man who obviously lied. And it is this navel gazing Nephilim doctrine is what it is. It all comes from that all of the misrepresentation of Genesis chapter 6 and they want to make this huge twist and turn around they want to go to Job chapter number one to show you why that Satan is going through the earth or in the earth or whatever it's it's ridiculous it goes back to my research um, I you know I'd always heard conspiracy theories about the hollow earth and and it sounded interesting to me it, it was obviously kind of a cool topic um, mostly coming out of the new age movement but 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this is short and I know it was something that I really shouldn't have even brought up, but it's out there and there's idiots that actually believe this junk. All right, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and stay clad with zeal.